Yes. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Kari, uh, and I'm here to talk about test and commit or revert, also known as TCR. So what is TCR? Uh, it's simply you test your code, and if your test passes, you commit the code, but or if your test happens to fail, you revert your code and you lose all your new changes. Kind of crazy. So uh, this idea was formulated here in Oslo on a code camp uh, with the company I work for, which is Iterate. Uh, Iterate is a startup studio and a consultancy based here in Oslo. So for one week last September, um, three, three of our developers, Lars, Ulla, and Odman, uh, was coding together with Kent Beck. And Kent Beck is famous from extreme programming, test-driven development, Edu Manifesto, yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so they sat down for a week uh, to code, and Kent Beck, he had a couple of ideas what he wanted to try out. One of them being test and commit. So uh, when my colleague Odman, he heard about this idea, he was kind of like, hey, why? What, what if we revert to code if the test fails? And they're all, they all were like, what? Uh, Kent Beck, he even stated in a blog post the week after that he hated the idea, so he had to try it out. <laughs> so they were all like, OK, let's try it out. Um, and after that week, they were more like, wow, than what? So um, me and Odman were the only two developers on the innovation project we were doing for DMVGL. So when he came back from the week of coding, he was kind of stoked and he said like, Kari, Kari, let's try out TCR on our code. Um, and I was kind of, when I heard the concept, I was first like, what? Like, do I lose all my code if I do a mistake? I do mistakes all the time. But I like to tr uh, try out new stuff, so I said like, okay, let's try. Um, so we were working on a prototype in Elm, uh, so we started out just uh, writing a manual uh, command in the command line, but after a while we made a script. So for the test part we were doing, we used Elm Test, which is a test framework for Elm. Uh, and since Elm, uh, the Elm compiler does static type checking, uh, also the compilation was a good test to know if it runs, it usually works. So if the code compile and the test passed, we would commit it, uh, we would add it all. So we would add uh, both tracked and untracked files, and then we would uh, committing it with a specific commit message uh, for depending on what we were working on. Or if the test fails, we would do, or the code didn't compile, we would do a git reset hard. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so our TCR script ended up looking like something like this. So adding it all, compiling it, testing it, then committing it, or reset hard. Quite strict. Yeah. Um, so I mentioned uh, earlier that I was a bit skeptical in the start. Uh, so what actually ended up changing this? What made me go from what to wow? So. I will go through three of my concerns with the workflow and then how they ended up helping me to be a better coder, at least from my perspective. Yeah. So my first concern was, of, co of course, uh, so all my code just disappears. Uh, but like, what if I work on something that is depending on something else and then I need to do a change and I, I just lose a couple of hours with work? But yeah. I quickly found out that it's good to take smaller steps. And uh, when I thought I took a small step, I found out that I could take an even smaller step. And no, not small enough, smaller steps. So <laughs> what smaller step meant in TCR isn't only of having the safety net, of having committed code, so you all have all your history, but it's also, um, it's also encouraged you to break down the hard and difficult problems into smaller problems, which are easier to solve. Um, what um, losing code also meant for me was <laughs> removing some of my bad habits, 
because yeah, I do weird stuff <laughs> sometimes. So I started to using refactoring tools more frequently and also made my coding style more efficient in total. My next concern was uh, having enough tests. But tests are good to have. So in CCR, they give you the confidence, or in uh, any other state, it gives you the confidence that all your commits are in a safe state. So in the start, uh, it could be a bit difficult to write the test without them disappearing. <laughs> but to tackle this, you can, for example, uh, get them to pass by hard coding the answers or having your test as pending uh, before you develop the functionality further on. Um, but for CCR to be as fun as it can be, uh, you are better off having a language that compiles fast and also fast tests. Uh, but it's also possible to run it on parts of your code. So if you're so, um, solving an independent problem, you can just run the tests that are relevant for that problem. But this requires a bit more setup. So tests also gives help when refactoring. And TCR is awesome for refactoring, <laughs> since you can do the changes with confidence all the time. So the last concern I'm going to talk about today is the commit log. So since we were only two developers on our project, we just committed it all, and our commit uh, log ended up looking like this. A lot of unit inputs there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, to say that you're working on a larger project and you want to try out TCR, uh, you can use TCR on your feature branch and just squash it. Um, so, to summarize, uh, for me, CCR helped me to always be in a valid state and writing faster and more relevant tests. Uh, it also encouraged me to break down the hard problems into smaller problems, which was easier to solve. And it increased <laughs> my development speed by thinking out of the box and break out of my daily routine of coding. So I encourage you all to just try it out. It takes a couple of minutes to just set it up. And just as a, you can try it as a programming exercise or in your real life project. Um, I want to say thanks to Admin, Lars, Ule, and Kent Beck, and all other giants for TCR. <laughs> and Bendix, Scott, and Hansen that have made all of this illustration. And NDC for letting me talk here, and this being my first conference talk. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can just come by, or want to discuss TCR, or uh, if you hate it or love it, or if you're like, mm, OK, uh, just come and talk. Uh, so. That's all for me. Try TCR. <laughs>